Good evening. Uh, I'm here to argue the claim that um, coffee has um, major health benefits to the body. Um, I'll refute the um, three points <coughs> that uh, one, coffee increases the reception of the central nervous system uh, by increasing metabolism and burning more calories and promoting weight loss. Uh, second, that coffee pr provides antioxidants to the body. And third, that coffee lowers risk of certain diseases and cancers. Um, the first point the advocate made uh, about um, the coffee increasing metabolism and promoting weight loss, uh, it is true that coffee stimulates the nervous system by giving Adderalls to um, and causing production of adrenaline, which causes the body to be more um, energized. But this only gives you a short-term boost of energy. And after the short-term boost of energy ends, um, the body experiences a crash. And this crash leaves you with less energy than you had before drinking the coffee, which means you want to get more coffee to do the job and gives you a cycle that could possibly lead to dependence on coffee in order to do anything. Coffee also um, interferes with adenosine, which is a brain chemical that has a um, calming effect on the body. This causes people to drink, uh, people who drink coffee uh, regularly to be more stressed. And usually when people are more stressed, they become um, more prone to making mistakes. Uh, the second point that coffee provides antioxidants to the body. Um, some of the antioxidants that were mentioned uh, in coffee are vitamin E, magnesium, and potassium, which uh, are thought to have antioxidant properties. Um, but these have, um, these, although these are found in coffee, they are also found in many other foods, and there's no <coughs> evidence that people have a shortage of them in their diet. Um, and by just simply eating fruits or vegetables, you can easily um, boost the number of antioxidants you get. Um, and according to a study by uh, Rice University, um, the eating of fruits and vegetables, um, which doesn't bear any negative side effects, would, um, would give you just as all those beneficial nutrients and more. Uh, the third claim is that coffee lowers the risk of certain diseases and cancers. And this is um, kind of covered by the last point in that uh, most of the um, nutrients in coffee that are beneficial are easily found <coughs> in many other places. So to sum up, um, coffee does increase the risk of the central nervous system but it also creates a crash at the end which has adverse side effects. Uh, also, coffee provides um, nutrients to the body that are easily found in many other places that don't have these negative side effects. And although it does lower the risk of disease and cancers, this can also be done in many other ways that don't harm the body. Thank you. All right, the structural stuff is all good. On the first point, you grant those things that are true. You make an argument about the crash. There's no evidence supporting your point on that. And uh, you need some data to suggest the frequency with which that is the case and why it's significant enough to counter any of the benefits that the advocate is talking about there. Uh, the stuff about, I guess it's endocetine, uh, you know, the one that has the calming effect. I'm sure there's some evidence that you are presenting, but none of it is cited, so it wasn't very clear. On the antioxidant point, on the second point, uh, your main argument seems to be that there's uh, you know, a, a plenty of antioxidants available in a variety of other sources, and so coffee is not required. You do want to point out, that, for instance, that if coffee has any negative effects, that those other sources would probably be uh, the better place to go. Um, 
so in essence, you're not denying that there's antioxidants in coffee, but you're, you're kind of just uh, diminishing the significance of that, suggesting that they're available in other places. One of the things that you could also add here is whether or not the, the amount of antioxidants in coffee are substantial enough to compare with those other sorts of things, because it sounded like the advocate's evidence was really iffy on that. It suggests that they might be present, but I don't know that there was any quantification at all. On the third point, you're basically repeating the same issue, and that is that there are alternative ways of obtaining that kind of uh, uh, nutritional support. All right, thank you. Jaime, Jaime, Jaime. I say it wrong every time, but you're next.